In this chapter, we'll show you the advantages of working in the proxy mode. This mode of operation is useful when working with files that your workstation is unable to process in real time. In other words, the computer performance is insufficient for replaying the timeline content. Let's look at working in the proxy mode by using an example with material in 4K resolution. Naturally, proxy mode can be used when working with other formats. Let's create a new project and, when choosing the preset, select Customize. Select the 4K video preset in the project settings and change the render format under Setup into Grass Valley HQX. Confirm by pressing OK. Now let's import the 4K material. With the right mouse button, click Root in the bin window and select Open Folder. Locate the appropriate directory and confirm by pressing OK. Afterwards, place the imported clip onto the timeline. Since the material's resolution is 4K and its bitrate is high, replaying it in real time on a regular workstation is practically impossible. Let's therefore take advantage of a setting EDUS offers in the Settings menu, System Settings, Importer, Exporter, and select RED from the formats. Here the preview quality can be set. For our purposes, let's select 1.8 from the scroll down menu and confirm with the OK button. Note that the video quality in the preview window has changed and it is even possible to replay the clip. Yet the playback is choppy, which means that the computer performance is still insufficient for real-time playback. So let's use another option that EDUS offers for smoother content playback on the timeline. Select Proxy Mode from the Mode menu. By activating this mode, the creation of proxy files is automatically started, whose size is much smaller than the original material placed on the timeline. The process of creating proxy files can be viewed in the background job window. The files created are much less demanding for replay than the original 4K resolution files. The creation of proxy files can itself be seen in the folder containing imported material, where a new file of the same name as the source video is created, but with a proxy suffix. These newly created files are much smaller than the source ones, so working with them is much less demanding on the hardware. After creating proxy files, the video can be viewed in the preview window in real time. Note that on the timeline, the video is covered with a transparent checkerboard, which signals working in the proxy mode. Now let's look at a different example where the advantages of working in the proxy mode can also be used. Imagine a scenario where you have an unfinished project at your workstation, but for one reason or another, you must travel and finish the project on your laptop. The steps are as follows. From the file menu, select field editing Check out. A window opens where the location for saving proxy files is specified. In order to specify the location, press Browse and, in this case, select the external hard drive as the target location. In the Checkout Source Files section, leave Proxy selected. This option generates the proxy files for clips if they haven't been created. By selecting High Res, Full quality video files, that is, in their original resolution, will be copied into the target directory. Now confirm by pressing OK and then Yes. The subsequent project changes will be done on the laptop. Start EDIUS and open your project from the external hard drive. The project is automatically launched in the proxy mode. We've made several changes on the timeline and also added new titles. Let's save the project and return to it at the workstation. Start EDIUS and open the unfinished project. When opening the project, a Checkout Status window appears where we continue by pressing Check In. Press Browse in the window that pops up and on the connected hard drive find the project saved from your laptop. Confirm by pressing Open. 
At the bottom, note the list of files that were not included in the project saved on the workstation. In this case, it is the three titles we have created on the laptop, and Edius warns us this way of their existence in the newer project version. Continue by pressing OK and then Yes. All project changes are applied to the material in the original resolution and save into the original project on the workstation. After finishing these steps, you may disconnect the hard drive.